By now, we've all heard about Roy Moore, the Republican Senate candidate in Alabama who's been accused by multiple women of sexually harassing them when they were teenage girls. And now we're learning that it went even further. We have a report uh, today from The New Yorker that uh, people saying Roy Moore was banned from the mall uh, where he was meeting these girls and reportedly uh, trying to flirt with them in a harassing way. He was allegedly very well known at the local mall for pursuing teenage girls when he was in his 30s. He would go and flirt with all the young girls. It seems like every Friday or Saturday night you'd see him walking around the mall like the kids did. Wow. <laughs> It's one thing to be a creep at the mall. It's another thing to be the creep <laughs> at the mall. And I know some of you watching are too young to remember the mall, <laughs> which means Roy Moore probably thinks you're his type, but malls <laughs> were huge in the 80s. Everybody went there. If a mall worker remembers Roy Moore 40 years later, he did some <laughs> It's basically Roy Moore and the guy who took a dump in the sunglass hut. That's all anyone remembers. <laughs> and just remember, just remember, just imagine this was a man in his 30s, right, walking around a mall. He's trying to look cool, so he probably, like, turns his cowboy hat backwards, <laughs> just walking up to high schoolers, trying to use pickup lines, like, hey, girl, you tired? Because you've been running away from me all day. <laughs> hey, girl, you got a coupon? Because my pants are 50% off. <laughs> And you know what, you know what? Yesterday, a new accuser, Beverly Young uh, Nelson, came forward to say that Roy Moore had sexually assaulted her when she was a 16-year-old working part-time at a local restaurant. And Roy Moore immediately denied it hard. In fact, almost too hard. This is absolutely false. I never did what she said I did. I don't even know the woman. I don't know anything about her. I don't even know where the restaurant is or was. Wow. This guy's just denying everything. I don't know that restaurant. I've never been to a restaurant. I've never eaten food. I don't even have a mouth. <laughs> but look, I get it. She says he assaulted her at a restaurant. He says he doesn't even know that restaurant. So it looks like a case of he, share, he said, she said, uh, except that he also wrote down what she said. At the end of the press conference, she held up her yearbook, which she said that Roy Moore had signed. And in that yearbook, supposedly she claims that this is Roy Moore's signature, to which she wrote, quote, to a sweeter, more beautiful girl, I could not say Merry Christmas. Christmas 1977, love Roy Moore, DA. And at the bottom of his signature there, he wrote the date, but he also wrote Old Hickory House, which was the restaurant that Roy Moore is claiming to have not even been familiar with or have been to. This guy is a, he's a legend. He's a legend. It's almost like his past self is snitching on his future self. <laughs> because everything he denies, he already pre-confessed. Like, now I want him to be like, I definitely never sat down at that restaurant. Really? Uh, this booth has your name uh, carved into it. <laughs> well, I never ate anything there. Your picture's on the wall for the pancake eating contest. <laughs> Look, I don't know how this whole thing is gonna end up, but as of now, both the Senate's and House Republican leadership have called on Roy Moore to step down. And it looks like he might be expelled from the Senate if he wins the election. Now, I'm not saying he's not a good fit for the Senate, but 40 years ago, he wrote in a yearbook, I'm not good for the Senate. 